Live and on your side, you're watching WBRC Fox 6 News at noon. Well, coming up, we're in the kitchen with some folks from Brio, and we're making a delicious winter dish. That looks good. Sure to warm you up on a cold day. I like it. <laughs> And we're going to give you a recipe that you can make at home. Joining us today is Brio Tuscan Grill General Manager Christian Bloom, and we are making sweet potato and chicken risotto. Thank you for being with us today. Thanks for having us, Claire. All right, so you've got the skillet heated up. Yes, and we're going to go ahead and add pancetta, okay. which is an Italian bacon that's salt cured with black pepper. Okay. And we're going to go ahead, and we're not going to really make it too crispy. We're going to render it, which is going to bring out the salt and bring out a lot of the flavor. Mm-hmm. So we're going to let that go ahead and heat up for just a moment there. And we're going to go ahead and add our asparagus okay. as well as our sweet potatoes. So those we've previously blanched, and we're going to go ahead and add those in. And the skillet's not too hot. We're still letting it heat up, right? Correct. It's okay. about a medium to a medium-high heat. Okay. But you want to go ahead and add some of these ingredients. Correct. So we are, between now and March 25th, we're celebrating risotto. Okay. We're featuring four different kinds of risotto. We're featuring salmon risotto, our scallop risotto, our shrimp and lobster tail risotto, and then our chicken and sweet potato risotto, which is my personal favorite. I like it. I like it. Sweet potatoes are great this time of year, especially in the fall, you know, fall into winter. Yes, they are. I yes, love they sweet are. sweet potatoes. All right. And this is a, so how much of this, um, I mean, is that about a cup of the sweet potato or it's, a little it's, less? Um, half cup? Three ounces of diced sweet potatoes, okay. two ounces of asparagus, and then it was about a half an ounce of the pancetta. Okay. We're going to go ahead and start to get a sizzle on the pancetta there. So now through March 25th, again, we're featuring the risottos, and we're also going to be featuring three different cocktails that kind of match perfectly with it. Okay. We're going to have a Bullet Rosa, which is, features um, Bullet Rye Whiskey with 19 Crimes Red Blend Wine. Right. We also have a Grapefruit Gin, which has um, Beef Eater Gin as well as Grapefruit Juice and a Rosemary Infused Simple Syrup. Okay. And our last one, which is our Bourbon Maple Smash, which has... Um, it has Maker's Mark as well as maple syrup in it, mm -hmm. and also the rosemary infused um, simple syrup. So that's a great pairing yeah. with these dishes right here. So once we start to get a little heat up on the uh, on the vegetables, there we're going to add four ounces of chicken stock. Okay. We're going to add just a tiny bit. It's about a quarter teaspoon of freshly chopped thyme. Okay. And then our risotto. Now one of the keys to cooking risotto is always. Now is this using... already cooked risotto or yes, is it? Yes, it is. Okay. It is already cooked risotto. Okay. And one of the keys to cooking risotto is always use a rubber spatula because it's going to help you break it up without really tearing into the risotto itself. Okay. Because risotto, the ingredient tends to be a, a fairly delicate item. Yes. So the rubber spatula is key. Okay. That is a good tip. And how did you prepare that risotto? That risotto, we just really prepared in it with, in a skillet with um, some onions and some vegetable bursi. It's, it's excellent. Okay. The risotto is excellent. And we're going to go ahead and just incorporate all the ingredients together. That's going to soften it up. That's going to add the flavor. It's going to pull the thyme into it as well. Okay. And how far in advance did you make that risotto? Is risotto that... I made it this morning. Okay. It okay. Take so you can make it ahead of time. Absolutely, you can. And we have about 30 seconds left in our all dish. Right. Perfect. We're going to go ahead and add some whole butter. Okay. Two tablespoons of Parmesan Reggiano cheese as well as our chicken. All right. And we're gonna go ahead and stir all that to incorporate it. And then all we're really doing is heating up the chicken at this point. How long would you let that cook? I would let that cook for about a minute or two. Okay. And then we would go ahead and just put that right into the bowl. And then we're gonna finish it off with a little more Reggiano cheese. Ah. Another tablespoon as well. And then the finishing touch will be pine nuts. All so right. Got our Reggiano cheese. And Wonderful. our pine nuts. Now remember, if you want to make this at home, you can get a copy of the recipe on our WBRC News app and our website, WBRC.com. You can also send us a self-addressed stamped envelope here to P.O. Box 6, Birmingham, Alabama, 35201. Christian, thank you so much for being with us Thank today. you we so appreciate much for it. having us, Claire. All right, we're going to check in with me.